ladies and gentlemen, we have detected gravitational waves. We did it. 美国东部时间二零一六年二月十一日十点三十分，也就是北京时间二十三点三十分，美国激光干涉引力波天文台 （LIGO） 执行主任大卫·瑞兹宣布，科学家们寻找引力波的努力终于收获成果，印证了爱因斯坦一百年前的引力波预言。财新特派记者赴华盛顿对 LIGO 发言人加布里埃拉·冈萨雷斯进行了专访。This is、uh, such an amazing discovery because now、uh, we know that. Not only we have instruments capable of detecting gravitational waves, but we know that there are black hole systems out there producing these gravitational waves. So it was two events: the discovery that shows the ability of the instruments, but also the existence of these black hole binary systems merging out there. It's great for physics. It's great for astronomy. We are building a new way to look at the universe. These instruments are now observatories. They are going to be detecting signals coming from stars, from black holes, and we will be able to tell how big the stars are, how big the black holes are, where they are, how fast they spin. That's what we have been doing with the electromagnetic waves in the telescopes and satellites for two centuries now. Now we will begin doing that with gravitational waves. 引力波是加速中的质量在时空中所产生的波动，也被比喻为时空的涟漪。阿尔伯特·爱因斯坦在1916年提出广义相对论，认为引力是由于质量所引发的时空扭曲所造成。任何有质量的物体加速运动，都会对周围的时空产生影响，其作用的形式就是引力波。On September 14, 2015, in the middle of the night, the LIGO Observatory detected for the first time a gravitational wave produced by the collision of two black holes forming a larger black hole. The signal was seen first in the detector in Livingston, Louisiana, and seven milliseconds later in the detector in Hanford, Washington. The gravitational wave that was observed was predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity for the Dance of two black holes that collided into a larger black hole, <laughs> and I think there were probably about a thousand emails <laughs> written the day of September 14, the day after we <laughs>、uh, we saw this、uh, this signal in our data. The day we saw it,、uh, it, it appeared in an in an analysis of the data that we do in real time, as close to real time as we can. But of course, once we see something, it needs a lot of vetting. The code that produces it needs to be reviewed. The results need to be reviewed. The instrument needs to be understood. So that is what took months of very, very hard and intense work by more than a thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> the paper、uh, that we wrote about this detection has more than a thousand authors. We actually have a group in Beijing University,、uh, and they are、um, uh, they their expertise is on、uh, writing computing codes that are very fast for analyzing the data using GPUs. They also do detector characterization. They also translate much of the information that we generate into Chinese, and, and, and that, as we know, there are lots of Chinese people interested in science, so that's very good. 在中国，上世纪七十年代，引力波探测被杨振宁称为头前少有重大科学意义的研究领域，曾经在中国引起过热潮。中山大学正在筹备的天庭计划也以引力波研究为中心。中山大学天文与空间科学研究院院长李淼对财经记者表示，目前该项目还没有获得政府的部门立项，目前尚不能确定未来的发展方向。Well, yes, I had heard,、um, and we we actually help efforts, international efforts, to、um, to launch space missions to detect gravitational waves. Those are complementary instruments to the ground ones, so these are not in competition. They are different wavelengths of gravitational waves. And I think、uh, China has a very strong space agency, <laughs> and I know that there are many scientists interested in the space project. So it, yes, I think this discovery will probably help <laughs> because people are so excited about gravitational waves that this discovery cannot but help <laughs>、uh, those efforts. 
。财新特派记者崔征发自美国华盛顿。